everyone agrees no child should go hungry. But who's responsible for feeding them when they're at school? That's the question lawmakers are trying to answer this week. Joel Crane is live at the Capitol to tell us about the status of a bill that would expand free lunches for the state's lowest income students. Joel? Monica, the state's budget for this biennium is about $18.5 billion. Now, how much of that do you think is going to go towards school lunches for poor income families, low income families? The, after today, the answer to that question is nothing. Getting enough to eat is vital to learning. It's really important. We know that kids learn better and behave better when they're not hungry. On that, just about everyone agrees. But should the state pay for it? A majority in the Senate said no. Um, yes, I can understand kids going hungry, but is that really the problem of the school district? Is that the problem of the state of North Dakota? It's really the problem of parents being negligent with their kids. Currently, the federal government pays for meals of children in households that make 130% or less of the poverty level. Families who are between 130% and 185% are eligible for reduced price meals. House Bill 1491, which failed this week, would have covered meals for students whose families are between 130% and 200% of the poverty level. For a family of four, that means those making less than about $60,000 a year. Presumably we espouse individual responsibility, and at what point in time do we we just wave that away and, and make the state responsible. Those in favor of the bill say the legislature will likely spend more money on things they believe are less important than feeding children, like using state dollars to finance private education. I would argue that there are some people in this room who are very much in favor of giving $24 million to help offset some of the tuition costs, and yet this is just a fraction of that dollar total to be able to feed kids. The expanded school meals program would have cost the state about $6 million. The upcoming vouchers bill, which would use public funds to pay for private education, is expected to cost about $24 million. Senator Wabama says there isn't a conflict between the two. To me, they're fundamentally different issues. And, um, and people, people will argue that that's that's not a true statement, but, but that's where I'm at with it. But people who support the bill say they don't believe a majority of everyday North Dakotans see it that way. North Dakota is in a very healthy financial position right now, and we are prioritizing other things that they might not see as important as making sure our kids don't go hungry. The bill failed on Monday by one vote. Now, proponents of the bill say that it would have impacted about 10,000 students statewide. Uh, the bill was asked to be reconsidered again today, but that was shot down by the Senate. Live at the Capitol, I'm Joel Crane reporting for Your News Leader.